Now, you had your fir the first time you ever tried to sell your art in person. So may I ask how much money did you make your first I mean, time? This is his first time. So I'll say, though, the first day when I was selling art, I only made $100. Okay. The next two days, because it was a three-day event, selling, I made $2,100. Wow! He's already a investment, and you're only a month in. Dang, Peter, go! That's awesome. And, 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 here's the good news, because you sold directly to your customers, you can get what from them? I got referrals and I actually- yes! Oh, you know what? Just today, I got an email from someone who wants a commission. <sighs> I rest my case. I rest my case. Go it's ahead, what? do it the old way or give this a try, right? What was your number one challenge? Um, There's so many to list, but off the top of my head, I didn't know why people bought art. You didn't know what? why people bought art oh you didn't know why people bought art okay what makes one art good and one bad like the way you explain the way the market works even with art history makes perfect sense to me now art is something people spend money on that they don't need that's right and i didn't understand i'm like well how do i make them buy my thing then <laughs> right if they don't need it now what am i gonna do <laughs> Because, like, an electronic device, like, everyone needs a phone. So you can make the best phone in the world, and you can prove it. But how do you make the best art? <laughs> but even that is up for debate. Like, a good friend of mine really loves the Pixel. And then I just won't give up the iPhone. Um, so that goes, then that goes, points to the target market, right? Very you can have an argument about the Pixel and the iPhone, but it's really a waste of time, don't you think? Yeah, isn't it just a personal preference and emotions? Yes. <laughs> it's so simple now, but I didn't know, Anne. I really didn't know. <laughs> but people spend an extraordinary amount of time arguing about it, arguing about who's right and who's wrong, and what. And art critics have full, full blown careers saying who's right and who's wrong, and it's nonsense. Who cares? I used to go off to the approval of art contest, and I've been entering art contests my entire adult life. I've never even been shortlisted. How much money do you think you've spent on art contests? At least four digits. <sighs> Maybe 5,000. If that's being conservative. And any return on that investment? Not even shortlist, not even an honorable mention, and... <sighs> So it's a really negative return on investment sending about if you, you know, you spend about $5,000 that you'll never see. You spend all that time on that art. You spend all those money on materials and shipping and entry fees. But here's the bigger cost for artists who enter these stupid freaking art contests is that it hurts your soul every time you get rejected. And if you, you're going to get rejected, but you're going to get far less rejection if you provide value and serve a target market. I've been meaning to do this gratitude post for a while, and since it's Thanksgiving in the United States, why not? Thank you. I uh, also have some progress I'd like to share. Firstly, I'd like, now I'd like to probably start off. Firstly, I'd like to thank all my study partners because, Peter, you get it. You can't do this by yourself. It's too hard, it's too lonely, and it's no damn fun. So he starts off by thanking his fellow artists who he's not competing with, who based on their response are not jealous of you. They're really happy for you. No, they're super supportive. Right. So it says, and that's who you gotta be around. Other artists who are jealous or competing with you or backstabbing or snobby, you gotta get the hell away from them. So anyway, he goes on to write, this is such, an, such a valuable resource, and I'm truly grateful for all your insights. I've learned, now again, he's only been in here for a month. I've learned more from all of you than any art teacher I've ever had, and I love how many supportive friends I've made. For anyone who's new and lurking and hasn't gone after a study partner, please do so, exclamation point. 
They gave me the confidence to write for what I'm going to write next. I tried selling my art in person last weekend for the first time in my, in my life. It was a great success. The first time, especially considering I was certain I'd sell nothing. So you had no confidence. That's a good thing. To, I want to pause because a lot of people don't have confidence when they come to this program. Guess what? You don't have to. We, if you do the process, you'll build it up. Peter's already doing it. So he says, um, you certainly sell nothing. I had a study session with Maureen right before the weekend, and she was so enthusiastic and excited for me, I was forced to follow through because he had yep. accountability. You don't want to do this on your own, even though I secretly wanted to cancel the event. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, first, The first day of the event, I wasn't doing so well because I was selling art. Selling art sucks, everyone. Don't do it. Then I remembered what Ann said about selling art, so I switched to selling emotion the next day. I also started talking to people who seem like my target market, my tribe, and then the sales were a constant stream. I was so mad I wasted a day selling art because the next two days were very profitable and didn't have to worry about how I would pay back my tuition anymore. That, that's the tuition to the Making Art Making Money semester. That went faster and easier than I thought because I trusted the counterintuitive advice of this program. This may... This event made me clear on my four-part code and how I add value and to who. So long, insecurities. I won't miss you. Um, this event led me to reevaluate my business plan. Um, you know, anyway, he goes on. Peter goes on. He says, finally, thank you, Anne. You gave me the tools and the roadmap to not only succeed, but be able to analyze the data of what worked and how I can replicate this. Thank you so much. Just my personal opinion, but art school is a crack of shit. <laughs> this program is what every artist should experience. I'm so thankful I, I found it early in my life. But even if you're older, better late than never. What do you think would be more rewarding? Getting a damn blue ribbon or whatever the hell the art contest give you. Or what you experienced this re recently. Which would, which would you rather have? hands down what I experienced because every person who bought the, the change of their expression meant so much to me they got what I was doing as opposed to someone saying you're good enough like you I approve of you I don't agree with that these people say I I feel the same as you and I want to support what you're doing and this this makes me feel good yeah doesn't it feel good don't you feel like you get paid twice when you sell directly to someone who wants to support you, who wants to understand your inspiration, who wants to feel the emotions and learn about your mission. I mean, isn't those, doesn't that feel like you're getting paid twice? I mean, they're, they're paying you for the art, but then they're almost paying you again because of their response. You can't sell another, can't sell an iPhone and have that kind of response, right? No, when I worked yeah. in sales a long time. The huge thing you got to remember, everybody, is 85% of a small business's sales comes by way of referral. If you had sold something in a gallery, you'd never get 85% of your overall future sales are lost, gone. I refer to the art establishment as the scarcity and permission-based art establishment because it is infected with scarcity and you need another person's permission. Let me ask you this. Did you need anybody's permission to make any of the sales that you made? No, I need no one's approval of whether it was good or not. <laughs> and do you think you're going to, will you need anyone's approval if you decide to take this commission that you got? No, <laughs> it's my own approval. That's it. <laughs> do you think someone else uh, uh, should, you should pay them 50%? Let's say, let's say a gallery was representing you. So this is a practice of a lot of galleries. So let's say you're represented by the gallery, but then you go off and under your own energy and your own efforts, you sell directly to people outside of the gallery. The gallery still wants 50%. Would you pay them 50% now? What company does that? What what <laughs> other industry? Exactly. Nothing. No. No. It's not, it would be com it's completely unacceptable, completely onerous business terms. Even in I've worked in sales and sales companies. Even then, you get like ten percent commission. Nobody takes fifty percent. And then you don't even know if they do a good job or not, right? 
And you're never going to see that person. You're never going to see the 85% of sales that could come or referral, you know, that comes from the referral ever. They're going to cut you off. Or their expression when they actually get what you're doing. Exactly. You don't get that emotional reward in connection. High school art teacher told me, please don't go into art. You can't do this. And she wasn't like, I liked her, but she really, she sat down with me on the last day of class and she was like, Peter, you're just not skilled enough. You don't have the talent. And if I can do it, and trust me, I'm not a good, like, I'm not really talented or skilled. And I'm never, I was never the brightest. Anyone can do it. You know, um, John, is it Jonathan Adler, who's a very famous uh, ceramicist and designer, just so that you know, he was also told that he was just had no, he was told he had no talent and he was never going to make it. And I don't know how many he stores he has and how many cities throughout the United States. I love him. <laughs> I know I'm familiar with him. Yeah, I think he's great. He names the names of the teachers who <laughs> told him that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that, but yeah, he'll name the name. <laughs> yeah, which is actually makes me, I would love to interview him one day because I love that he calls them out like that. And um, yeah, I heard him interviewed and he named, I don't remember the teacher's name, but he named her and said, yeah, she told me that I was just like a hack. And I was like. <laughs> and he's, he's famous for repeating her name all the time. <laughs> I'm like, wow, he's still salty. <laughs> You have to invest in yourself. Do it. You don't know what you're doing, which is okay because no one taught you how. And these are hard resources. Someone else did it. You need a roadmap. Do this. You won't look back in your investment. I didn't pay anything for the program. I made it back already. <laughs> you made, made more than, by the way, you've made more than the pay for the yeah. program already. I did more than that. So. <laughs> just do and, it and 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 uh, also let me remind you that you're not wasting a ton of money on these stupid art contests anymore so we stop the financial bleeding over here this turns business speak into art speak and art speak into business speak i'm glad you cracked the code for us because i feel bad that you had to do it alone because i got a cheat sheet so i'm sorry but <laughs> and let me tell you i worked my butt off and it was hard as heck I believe it. I don't know. I'll be honest. I, I try to believe in myself. I don't know if I could have done that. I'm not that smart. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, I just talked about why I, like the, the emotions were there and they connected and it was a guided conversation and they bought it. I didn't have to convince them and say like, oh, like, would you want this? If I'll give you 10% off. No, it's just like, <laughs> I want this. <laughs> it's, it's art. It's not a car. And even then. Right. Exactly. And, you know, I'll tell you what, if you're discounting your art, you, someone who might have bought from you, but then you went and offered a discount, they're probably not going to buy from you. And if they, if they do buy it with your discount, probably not going to buy from you again. I used to send free workout all the time thinking that people would come. Yeah, I know you're going to cringe. <laughs> I used to send to like, companies and magazines and people who I thought were the right market thinking that oh they'll, they'll they'll in good favor come back to me all it did was cheapen the work and make it look like it's valueless I love the community it's awesome I'm like I everyone could experience this isn't it like much. that, that I, I say that alone like even if you didn't learn a damn thing but you got access to this community which are artists 17 different types of artists from 18 countries and counting that is worth more than the price of admission itself in my view but what do you think i pay just for that right i sign up just for that because the experience of it has priceless truly priceless